Hi, it's Jane with Scraptastic Yarns Podcast. Today is Friday, October the 19th, and I'm coming to you from Lock Haven, Pennsylvania. Christy's package was mailed off this afternoon, and Christy, you should be getting an email after I've finished um, filming this. I'm going to send you an email with the tracking number for that. They tell me it should be the first part of next week that you get your uh, package. I hope you enjoy it. I do want to tell you, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I have a Ravelry group, and it is Scraptastic Yarns Podcast on Ravelry. I also have a Facebook group for this, um, Scraptastic Yarns Podcast. Why am I telling you this? Because I'm lonely. Now, the reason I'm telling you this is because those will be the two places that the two winners from the um, Raglan Crochet Along, Knit Along, that I am going to host in starting November the 1st, through that will run through the 20th of December those are the two places the winners will be drawn from so you need to join the other thing is I am hoping that it will get me more active back on the Ravelry I kind of got away from Ravelry and I do miss it I I've made a lot of online friends that way and but I just haven't got back into it so I'm hoping that this will get me right back into it because I will have to go there <laughs> anyway <laughs> today I don't know about in your area as you can see I'm kind of bundled up and I've got all this other stuff around me it was cold this morning when I got up um, it was 35 degrees outside when I got out to the car I had to actually defrost the windows so I guess we finally are in uh, getting into some fall weather now in the background you may hear I have a little bit of a tangled mess here you may hear lawnmower I can hear it doesn't mean you can hear it but I can hear it which means they're mowing the lawn either across the street at the Catholic school or from the sounds of it it sounds like it might be in the apartment complex where I live <laughs> so if it gets a little louder I may have to stop and start over again I haven't gotten very far on my Tunisian shawl I did get the Matt for the homeless finished with the exception of doing the straps I have to finish the straps and then it'll be ready to be delivered tomorrow at the spaghetti dinner at the fire hall and that's at the mill hall fire hall it is to raise money for the uh, Lamar lighthouse campground who puts on these fantastic gospel um, concerts every summer that are free to the public they for many years had hosted it in their tabernacle but um, it was found to be um, unsafe so it has been condemned they did have the crew that comes out and refurbishes barns and buildings like that to see if they could repair it you know they could lift the roof and you know repair everything they needed to do can't be done apparently the walls were made of pine and that's the problem which you know nobody really knew they just knew that it was a great place for its big huge campground beautiful they have lots of cabins all around for people you know to rent to stay in those kind of things it's a very nice place so they're trying to raise money for the 
to uh, rebuild the tabernacle. And of course there is a spaghetti dinner to benefit that um, that will be held tomorrow evening at the Mill Hall Fire Hall from 4 to 7. So if any of you are local near in the area, come on down, get a great spaghetti dinner. Adults is $8, children are $4. It's going to be a fantastic meal. And they do have takeouts available. Now that I've done my PSA, for, I'll move on. I did get that, like I said, I got that mat done. So I'm ready to go back to my whips. And of course, the one whip that I've been wanting to work on has been the Tunisian here. And I just haven't had an opportunity to do that. Now, I did have someone comment about my... Um, and they made they sent it to me by email, which is fine. I have no problems with that. You know that they kind of like the idea of the create, but it wasn't what they were expecting. You know, blah 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 blah, and on and on. Well, I am going to preface this by saying I am that I am not a crochet professional. I just play one on YouTube. If you have a problem with what I'm presenting, by all means, send me emails, send me criticism. But don't jump down my throat because it's not benefiting you the way that you think it should benefit you. Um, I started this series in hopes that it would help not only me with design features, learning some new things, which I have learned some new things about crochet. Yeah, I've crocheted for 50 plus years, but I am learning some new things about crochet that I did not know about designing, about how designs are made. So, it may not be benefiting you and to the person that it's not benefiting, I'm sorry. There are other places that you can get that information. By all means, I have no ill will towards you for pointing that out, but I would say stick around. See if something does help you later on. You never know. This is a journey we're all on together, and I would hope that you would stick around long enough to find out if it is really going to be beneficial to you. You know, there are plenty of people who don't care about the series, don't watch it. I have no problems with that. So that's my little spiel for today. Like I said, I am not a crochet expert. I just play one on YouTube. <laughs> so, you know, you can't please everybody. And um, I don't, I don't, I've, I've quit trying to within my past life, even though I do have a problem with uh, saying no. In the past, that would be something that would eat me alive. Now, eh, just rolls off my back. For the most part. <laughs> so, Like I said, it was so cold this morning, I had to defrost the windows. And it made me stop and think. You know, today is our my usual quilting day. And I've, today I didn't do any actual quilting or sewing. I just basically cut out a lot of things. Um, took a bunch of fabric that I want to put together. We're doing kids quilts for the um, Head Start. And I need to get a couple of those done. I have some almost completed. I need to get those finished this weekend. Hopefully I will get them done by Monday evening. Um, it is a goal that I am shooting for. And I guess I kind of want to talk a little bit about goals today. Um, I have in the past set goals in my life, reached them, met them, 
and then I just forget about setting new goals. Sometimes I think it's important for us to set goals um, simply to get through whatever we're going through. Many times goals have helped me get through some pretty rough times. There was a period in my life where finances were really tough. So I looked into how to enhance my finances, how to get out of debt. And yeah, it took me about a year, worked really well. And I've been fine with that part ever since. So what I find is every once in a while I need to find new goals. And for me this this year has been a challenge to find goals. And I think that's because I was looking for something that was going to be a fantastic astronomical goal for me. Of course, you do know that my goal always was to become senior enough to ride the senior bus. But that's a goal that I can't accomplish just because I want it or that I can work towards. So I think setting goals is important. And in many ways, I'm going to use this as an example. I try to make sure that I watch Kendra of Happenstance Place and she many times she talks about setting making a list of things to do to cross off to accomplish and I realize that is something I have not been doing and that's probably because I got out of the habit of doing it. I realized for quite a while I did get those goals set. I have a lot of friends that have always teased me about the amount of items I'm able to crochet, knit, create. You know, they've accused me of not sleeping at all or working while I'm asleep. But lately I haven't been doing any of that. I've been barely meeting any kind of goals. So I think for me it means I need to sit down, reassess goals, and get back into that uh, goal setting mindset that I've had in the past. So what do you think? Do you think goal setting is important? Do you set goals for yourself? This is kind of something we were talking about at the fire hall today. We were talking about getting motivated and about someone that we know that we haven't seen a lot of lately and that we were afraid that perhaps she had gotten depressed or gotten into this what we call funk. Um, and we were talking about that because one of the ladies said, well, you know, I can get to a point where I will just sit in the house in my moo and do nothing. And I thought, hmm. I don't have enough pajama days. That's a great way to get more pajama days. But even when I do have pajama days, I don't always do anything other than kind of veg out. So I think pajama days and goals are not compatible. But we kind of discussed that and she, we were talking about how sometimes we have to make ourselves get out of our homes or our comfort zones um, in order to 
create a better life for ourselves. So that's one of my goals. Step out of my comfort zone and work on some things in my life that I would like to see improved. And I'm going to tell you something. There's something we always joke about when we take our little trips over to the Hoover's Bernina for our embroidery class. There is a trailer that we pass that I shudder every time I look at it. And the reason I do is because it is a hoarder's nightmare. And one of my goals has been to downsize some of the things. You know, I have told you I'm a yarn addict. I laugh about it. I joke about it. But I got to looking around and I thought, you know, really, I really do have too much. So one of my goals for the next year through December of 2019 is to work on getting my yarn down to a more manageable size. I don't know if that's possible because I know I'm a yarn addict. I do know that my, when I walk into my sewing room, I have a lot of things in there that I really can't use. Um, some of it is just stuff. And it's stuff that clutters. So that's another goal that I'm setting for myself to help declutter some of that sewing stuff. Because some of it I will never use. To be honest, I know I'm never going to make myself a bra and panty set. So why do I hang on to that fabric? Why do I not pass that on to someone who might be able to use it? So that is one of the goals that I have set myself for from now through the end of December of 2019 is to get some of that stuff, that clutter in my life cleared out. Should be interesting. And I think that I'm going to follow a simple plan. Like I said, I've kind of joked about pounds in, pounds out with um, yarn. How many pounds have I brought in versus how many I've taken out. So I am writing, I am making myself a tally sheet so that I can see do I actually bring in more yarn than I send out of this house in a year. Same thing with the fabric. So it'll be interesting, I think, over the next year to see how that goes. You know, I had set goals when Terry of Yarn Joy Podcast had done those goals, and I reviewed them a couple of times. <coughs> Excuse me. And I think... I don't review them enough. And I think that's part of my problem with goal setting is I don't have them set somewhere easily where I can see them so I can see if I'm meeting them or not. And of course, the week goes by and the goal gets forgotten. I think you can see where I'm going with this. I think many times we think we have set a goal and a serious goal, but we really don't mean it. So this next week I'm setting down, sitting down, I'm going to set out those goals and um, Tuesday when I 
do my regular podcast. I will share with you the goals that I have set as well as the rules for the crochet along knit along for the raglan sweater. But in the meantime, you can join up for the Ravelry group or the face group book uh, group and uh, let's start working on some goals. What kind of goals do you have for this year? At least for the next year for yourself. Think about it. Let's come up with a few ideas on how to accomplish those goals. And I do think part of that is making sure those goals are visible so we know what we're reaching for. All right, folks, I've rambled on enough about goals and stuff, so I'm going to move on, and I'll see you again tomorrow afternoon. Everybody have a great day. Remember, choose to be kind. Bye.